So there's this guy, let's just call him Mark, who keeps posting on some of my YouTube videos about a feud between Norman Fell and Don Knotts. And despite my best efforts, I can't find anything to lead me to believe that that feud exists. And I really want to believe it because it involves Don pouring clam chowder all over Norman's head at the 1979 Emmys. What a great story! But I can't verify it, so I've got to think that as fun as that story is, it's probably just some sort of urban myth. What I did find, however, were numerous posts about a 40-year feud between these two guys. So the story goes like this. For over 40 years, the one and only Jack Klugman maintained a bitter and nasty feud with none other than Norman Fell. No idea what caused the feud, although it would seem worthwhile to mention that they're both from Philadelphia. Jack is a couple of years older. So it may have started there. For his part in his memoir, Tony and Me, Klugman never mentions Norman Fell at all. But if you think about it, if you're feuding with someone like Norman Fell, why would you mention it in your autobiography? It just wouldn't make sense. Fell, on the other hand, well, it seems like he's more forthcoming about the feud, saying, what has Klugman got that I haven't? What did he do differently? I could have killed his Oscar. I would have been great as Quincy. And I wouldn't have been so hammy. Klugman overacted in every scene. You want the show to be good? Pick me! You want a chain-smoking jackass who ruins any credibility for your project? I'll give you Klugman's number. So, based on that, it would seem like there was no love lost between these two guys. And the feud? Well, I guess you could ultimately say it was won by Klugman because Fell died in 1998 and Klugman didn't. So I guess Norman kind of forfeited. Jack even attended Fell's funeral saying, best funeral I've ever been to. I've never laughed so hard in years. I had the time of my life. Wow, just wow. But I think that quote kind of gave it away. Just when you think the story's over, it really isn't, because according to trusted sources via the One Poor Correspondent blog, not too long after Norman's passing, when pressed for more details about their lengthy and bitter feud, Klugman came clean and confessed that there was no feud at all. The whole thing was just a joke between the two of them. It turned out that these two crazy guys from Philly, well, they got along just fine after all. In fact, they were friends. And while I know there may be a few of you out there who are a little disappointed to find out that the whole thing was just a big charade between buddies, I have got to admit that I like the idea of Klugman attending Fell's funeral to mourn the passing of a friend a whole lot better than the idea that he might have been there to mock him and to declare victory. So there you go. A shorter video for what turns out to not be a very long feud, but instead an extremely lengthy hoax perpetrated by two very funny guys. Alright, so were you a fan of either Klugman or Fells? If so, let me know why in the comments section and while you're at it, I would love a thumbs up. And I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my little channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.